Now, when it comes to the World Athletics Championships currently taking place, it's fair to say Kyle Langford's face may not be that familiar. A couple of years ago, the runner from Watford won gold at the European Junior Championships. Now, though, he's preparing to take on the best in the world in the 800 metre final at the London Stadium. Well, Emma Jones is with two of his biggest fans. <laughs> Yes, but I'm not at the stadium or even at the Langford family home. I'm, in fact, at the family-run fish and chip shop here in Watford with Mum Karen and Dad Donald. Karen, you were there last night. How was it? It was amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Because you watched him come in second to qualify for the final. Yeah. As a mum, how was that experience for you? It was, I was just in pieces, absolute pieces, to watch my little boy, you know, on a world stage, 60,000 people, just unbelievable. And you've spoken to Kyle since, yes. how's he feeling? Yeah, he's feeling alright, I think he's tired, but I think, yeah, he keeps it close to his chest. You mentioned tiredness, you haven't slept much either since, no, have you? Not at all, we're exhausted. Really popular fish and chip shop here, Donald. Uh, you had to close, I believe, to go and see your boy in Saturday, action. Saturday, no brainer. We had to close the shop and go and watch. Mum refused to work, so that was it. Down to watch my son at the Olympic Stadium. Fantastic. Tell me what it's like as a parent to, to watch your son and, and also maybe what you've sacrificed as a family. Nerve wracking. I mean, you know, we, we've sacrificed so much in years gone by. We've shut the shop early, we've travelled all over the country scripts and scrapes by to, to pay for physio and, and massages and everything so it's been tough but been worth every penny of the ride did you believe he would get this far from when he was 13 and he was running the school cross-country races i watched him and thought this guy's got something special george harrison my old coach when i was a child and carl's coach up until this year thought the same thing and uh, anyone who knew kyle when we knew that um he had that talent now what's What's important now is, of course, that as many of you as possible are there tomorrow night to see him in, in the final. Who, who's got the tickets? Big family gathering tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Mum's family are there. Absolutely. We've got a full, full house tomorrow. I think there's 11 of us going. And in that case, who's looking after the fish and chip shop? Oh, you're not going, darling. You're not going. No, no, Karen's, Karen's looking after the shop. No, we've got uh, staff in tomorrow. Lovely staff. Bobby's coming in to look after Bobby, the shop. Bobby, amazing girl. How are you hoping he's going to do finally, Donald? I think... I mean, I'm very pleased that he's just got to the final. Everything is a bonus. Anything higher than seventh is a bonus. So let's hope he can do something special, pull it out of the bag, and possibly get up fourth, third. Third would be amazing. Thank you very much to both of you. Carl will be running tomorrow evening at just after nine o'clock in the 800 metres final. And Riz, before you ask, of course, I've bought some chips. <laughs> uh, of course you did. Uh, Emma there with a very, understandably, very proud parents, Karen and Donald. Um, thank you very much indeed.